Nero Claudius Drusus Germanicus, known to us as Drusus the Elder, or simply Drusus, was a general from early Imperial Rome. He received his first military command at the age of 23. He built over 50 forts along the Rhine River. His campaigns in Germania saw Roman troops reach places they had never seen before. The Romans dedicated statues to him, and to them, he was their Alexander the Great. So why is he such an obscure figure? Firstly, it must be noted that he was connected to some of the most prominent members of early Imperial Rome. His parents were Tiberius Claudius Nero, one of the most unluckiest men in history, and Livia Drusilla, the Augusta, one of the most powerful women in Roman history. His brother was Tiberius, the future second emperor of Rome. He was married to Antonia the Younger, the daughter of Mark Anthony. With her, he had multiple children, including Germanicus, the great Roman general who inherited his father's cognomen, Claudius, the fourth emperor of Rome. His son Germanicus was the father of the third emperor of Rome, the mad emperor Caligula. And lastly, he was the paternal great-grandfather of the last emperor in the Julio-Claudian dynasty, Nero, who was later adopted by Claudius, but that is another story. At the heart of this dynasty was Drusus' stepfather, Augustus. After victory at the Battle of Actium, Augustus was the sole ruler of the Roman Empire and would immediately shape the Roman world to his will. Drusus and Tiberius will help Augustus create a new Rome. Looking at the map, Augustus needed to initiate wars in Spain, Armenia, and Germany to guarantee eternal peace for Rome. In the north, Augustus' desired border would reach the Elbe River in Germany and the lands up to the entirety of the Danube River. Before the invasion in Germania could begin, Augustus needed a proper cause to invade, and in the province of Gaul, the Germans just gave him that. In 17 BC, the Sicambrii, the Eusepii, and the Tincherii tribes crossed the river and defeated a Roman army. This posed a huge threat for Augustus' new empire. Gaul was still a newly annexed part of the empire, and Augustus feared the people of the entire province would revolt. He needed to act swiftly. But first, the Romans needed to do a little cleanup in their own backyard. The Romans did not control the entire length of the Rhine River, the Alpine Pass of Northern Italy, nor the banks of the River Danube extending eastwards. The lack of these territories forced the Romans to take longer routes to move men's supplies, so Augustus decided to annex the Alpine lands and lowlands down to the Rhine and Danube rivers. This must first happen before the Germanian question could be tackled. Augustus needed a commander he could trust. With Tiberius in Gaul, the Alpine war fell to Drusus. It would be his first military command. But Augustus and Tiberius will be close to supervise the young general. We do not know troop compositions, and historians still debate the route of the Roman army. However, we do know they started in the southeastern region of the Alps, engaging the tribes there to Aquileia, an important port. Once the coastal tribes were subjugated, then he decided to move inland. Drusus pushed through to Tridentum, modern day Trento where, in his first battle, he engaged the Radii, northwest of Aquileia, near the Tridentine Mountains. Not much is known, but it was his first victory. Valelius writes that his charm and capability at leading men was already on display at this point in his early career. He then marched north of Tridentum, followed the Age Esch River into the Rhetian Valley, to the Lech Valley and annihilated all resistance. Drusus then orders a permanent crossing over the Age River, named Pond Drusus, or Drusus' Bridge, he was the first Roman to do so. The terrified people of Radia soon fled into the nearby territory of Gaul. Augustus decided that repulsing the Rhetians was not enough in order that they be completely subjugated. He sent Tiberius, who remember was close, to assist his younger brother Drusus. The brothers engaged the Vindelcii, a tribe that lived in southern Bavaria near the Danube River. Despite stiff resistance, the Vindelcii were squashed and Drusus founded a new military base at Augustus Vindelocorum, modern-day Osberg. The brothers then invaded the nation of Noricum. Famed for its high-quality iron and gold, they took the capital of Magdalensburg without much resistance. Augustus was pleased with his stepson's performance. The Romans now controlled all the major passes of the Alps. Meanwhile, Augustus informed Drusus that Tiberius will return to Rome and he will take over as governor of Gaul. Next time, Drusus must stabilize the province of Gaul before he can invade Germany. 
he will build over 50 forts along the Rhine and surprisingly plan for a naval rule of invasion. All this and more on part two of Drusus Caesar, the Roman Alexander. <laughs>